Right, this is my update on the Wooting 60HE. It's been about a month. I've been using it um, as my main board. And yeah, I'm gonna go through what I've changed in the software, a couple things, um, refer back to the old video that I made. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so a couple things in the software. Um, you can do it on the web, but they also have like a, a software to download, which I am using. Um, it saves everything that you do on it to the board itself, so you don't need the software open. Um, and it won't run in the background by default, it'll just close completely. Uh, here's a few things that I have changed. If you go to keyboard settings and you go to gamepad mode, uh, it says Xbox controller or classic controller. I've put it to no gamepad here because sometimes in games that support controller, you try and use the controller and it won't register because those games only support one controller input and it's registering the keyboard itself and the controller as an input. So if you turn the, if you have that issue and you, your controller is not working for some reason and you have this keyboard plugged in, that'll be why. So you just go to um, settings, keyboard settings and turn that off. Okay, moving on to the performance tab down at the bottom here, you have all of your actuation points, rapid trigger and tachyon mode options. So tachyon mode will put you in a one millisecond state. So the fastest response that you're gonna get from your keyboard to what actually happens on your PC. Rapid trigger is where you, let's say that here is the top of the key and here's the bottom of the key. In a normal keyboard, when you click it down, it will go all the way down and then you have to let all the way back up before you can click the key again. But if you have rapid trigger enabled, you can go all the way down, come up just a little and go back down and it will still register that back down part as a key press. What I did do is I turned rapid trigger off for W and E uh, in Valorant. E is my dash on jet and W is obviously move forward. Sometimes what I would do is I would rest my finger a little and I'm gonna reference the old video here as well. I'll stick the clip in. It's weird because you like slightly let up off of the key from it being all the way down and your character just stops. But I would press it down and then rest my finger and I would stop walking. Um, and I was doing that a lot by accident. If I turned rapid trigger off, that problem completely eliminated and you don't really need rapid trigger on for W key anyway. Okay, here in the remap section, I haven't really done much. I changed my number five to F5 by default and I have to click FN and five to type the actual number five. And also F11, I did the same thing for mi maximize and minimize. So again, they're just catered to me specifically. And here on the advanced keys tab, this is where things get a little more interesting. Um, so as you can see on my keyboard here, it says MT. This is for mod tap. This basically means that when you tap the key, it does an action, but when you hold the key, it does a different action. So when I tap the key, it's an up arrow or down or side side. And when I hold it, it's menu control FN and shift. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for Wooting's video on how to do this specifically. This is for arrow keys. Um, I like it, you might not. Again, preference. Okay, so talking about the keyboard in general here, um, I've had no issues over time with like the stabilizers getting more rattly or anything. Everything's still solid. Um, keyboard still feels really nice. I'm eventually going to mod it out. Also coming from a 75%, it's kind of difficult to adjust, but overall, it wasn't too bad. Um, I have F5 set on the top, like I said earlier, and F11 set on the top uh, because I use those two a lot after using it for about a month. It's a lot more impressive um, in the sense that you sort of grow with the keyboard. You get more used to how fast and responsive it is, and that makes you better over time with the keyboard as well. But again, this isn't like a necessity. You don't need this to be good, um, just like any other peripheral really. I also do plan to mod this, so I plan to get the Alamaze aluminium case from Wooting themselves, as well as their own lube and the take control keycaps to, ma to match the strap here. So I will eventually do a video on modding it out as well, and we'll do a sound test before and after, but for now I will leave you with another sound test, so let's go do that. <laughs> 